Hey, welcome to For the Story, the only podcast that's sitting in a kiddie pool filled with hummus with a glass of wine and is ready for those damn kids to go back to school. My name's Avery. And I'm Ash. This week we watched Machine Gun Preacher. <laughs> it might as well be a bit. Is that a real thing? <laughs> yeah, with, with Gerard Butler. Gerard. Ever heard of him? Ooh. <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> kind of name is that that's a boulevard <laughs> i think right or does it just rhyme i actually don't know <laughs> i just am saying it wrong at this point um Gerard. Gerard. yeah Excellent. i think that's like i think that's the the french term for a garage door opener not positive though no that's just called a garage <laughs> <laughs> it's a french word <laughs> anyway Wow. All right. So we're both already so loopy. This has been great. Um, We've been chit-chatting before the show. We're excited to get into it. Um, But before we really, really, really jump into our review of the... God, I almost called it Velociraptor, dude. (laughs) I I swear to God, it keeps happening. You're like, I'm going to do it, dude. And I'm just like, no, dude, it's the Velocipaster. (laughs) It's Velocipaster is the name of the movie that we watched. That's right. Velocipaster. Respect. On his name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I keep wanting to call it Velociraptor. I think it's just they're so similar. And, like, I was joking about, like, how I was going to say it before the show, and I actually just almost unintentionally did it. But, uh, <laughs> but somewhat but, intentionally at the same time. Yeah, yeah totally. I would have just let it happen. Um, but before we get in there, let's do a little bit of house cleaning. We're a movie podcast. We talk about movies sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes yeah. we absolutely don't. Um, yeah, sometimes we pick the Velocipaster because we think we're fun- being funny. Which actually technically isn't even a feature like the movie, so if that yeah. offends you in some way, go ahead and leave the episode now because we're, we're not turning back. <laughs> it's already been watched. We're not changing the topic this week. Um, yeah, no, it's it's here. It's beer. Get used to it. <laughs> um, Just kidding. We, we do not we really, uh, drinking. Before oh, okay. we really jump into it, Ash... Uh-huh. Um, uh, it, I think it's pertinent to note. We try to say this every week just because it really does actually help us. But uh, if you're an iTunes listener, go ahead and jump on whenever you get a chance and drop us five stars, like for real and for please, because uh, that actually helps us a lot. It bumps us up, up the charts. We don't really know. Uh, I want to say it's not uh, for our ego, but honestly, I'm, I'm pretty sure it just is at this point. I'm oh. going to leave one right now, <laughs> and it's going to say, the blonde one don't talk good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you if you leave a comment, this is the blonde one. Don't talk good, and also the name of a movie. Um, we might consider watching your movie at some point in the next year. I I don't know. We, yeah, I, we'll we think really, about it. Yeah, we haven't really given a time frame, but I I could say like the funniest comments if they come with a movie. I think that sounds yeah, like I, like it would warrant a uh, a movie watch. But um, yeah, and we'll shout you out and whatever you, you know. Yeah. We'll do the thing. Yeah, why not? Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. It's uh, not going to change your life that I... Hey, maybe it will. Don't even say that. Maybe somebody just needs a shout-out from a, a low-mid-level movie podcast. Who knows? Like, you know, it's it's kind of hard to tell. But um, I mean, listen. You'd be surprised. We've been talking about It 2 coming out. Ooh. People are kind of talking about it. And I, I can't help but think that there is some correlation. And maybe we did this. It could have been us, man. You know, I'm we've pretty been, sure it was. We've been generating hype for this basically unheard of movie. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> it too, <laughs> just one of the highest grossing yeah. horror movies of all time. Somebody tried to tell me. I think I think it was. It might have been Sydney. She told me that it was the highest grossing horror movie of all time, and that seems a little too broad to be the the case. I, can you verify this? You are the yeah, like the uh, money guy. Yeah. Let me. Uh... Let me take a look. Okay, so it made a total. Well, we're gonna go and get into this, but it's the number one R-rated horror movie. Um, in okay. terms of um, and supernatural horror movie, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, that also seems like super. That is so I can see, generic. like, R rated horror movie is like a little more specific. I, that makes like a little bit more sense to me. But like, just horror movie in general, it's just like, I feel like there's so many like horror movie comedies or like horror movie X, it's kind of hard to 
You know, and then you think about like thrillers. Yeah, or are they it, really it, horror it movies? It might be the number one yeah. of all time, though. I'm not going to lie to you. It might be. Uh, That's. I mean, we we could we could do some back verification. Maybe we could talk about this in the budget breakdown for that episode. I'm 100 percent adjusted. I don't fucking believe that. Like, yeah, yeah. Neither do I. So so I'm a little skeptical, but also a little interested. Mm-hmm. So uh, we we'll we'll be bringing that. To you guys' attention, just in case you want to know, because I'm sure somebody out there is like, well, I wonder how that's possible, like like myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but uh, we didn't watch that this week. We watched a whole bunch of other stuff, though, um, and we like to talk a little bit about uh, some other movies that we've uh, watched throughout the week that have nothing to do with uh, the, the movie of the week. And, uh, Ash, I'm really curious. What kind of uh, movies have you seen this week that have nothing to do with Velociraptor or, uh, or uh, Velocipaster? I'm going to give you a fucking jar and you have to put a dollar every time you say the name of a movie on, wrong, like not on purpose. It, like For me, it's like, oh, it's cute. He's trying to make a joke but doesn't know how to do it properly. With you, it's like, come on, dude. Like, come on. Hey, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> I do that all the time. I, that is, I would owe a lot of money to the show. It'd be great. Um, um, yeah. So I, uh, I got uh, through the week and went, oh, 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 fuck me. I don't have a movie yet. Shit, fuck. And uh, so I found two movies in a series uh, that have like a total runtime of like maybe two hours 40. I watched Creep oh. 1 and Creep 2. Have you ever heard of these movies? I think so. It's it's the one with that actor that you recognize from something else, but you're not quite sure it's where. It's the league, right? yeah. He's yeah. from the oh, league. Oh, it's the league. I I haven't seen the league. I know I knew him from something else too. Yeah. But uh, I I think I only saw the first one. That's when he goes to the guy's house, and he like, I remember he he gives him like a glass of whiskey and like refuses to let him leave because he's paying him like a like two hundred bucks to to record him be creepy. Yeah. Or like, yeah, right? he's like, like oh, that, it's right? like I have cancer. My kids, like, I want to make one of those videos for my kid. And then, like, his sister calls, and she's like, "Yeah, dude, you, sh- my my brother's like not okay." And then the last scene of the like the last shot of the movie is him screaming into one camera and then screaming into the other, and it's fucking crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, I remember the this. second one. Okay. I didn't know there was a the sequel. The second one's fucking great. So the plot is a girl has a really? web show where she goes to people's houses on Craigslist just to and like kind of does that whole thing. And he invites her over the creep. Uh, but now he's going by Aaron, the last guy Uh-oh. he killed. And he like fully reveals that he's a serial killer. And like they had this weird bonding thing. And. It's fucking awesome. I thought it was great. Like, especially because it's like an hour 20 oh, movie yeah. and you're like, this is not a time suck at all. It's barely an investment. It's all handy cam, which is great. Um, and it's very that's exciting. Tense. And again, the last shot of this movie is so good. And it's probably the best acting that's done in all of the movies. Um, yeah, but Mar- Mark Hell Duplass yeah. is... He's a lot less his character from the league. He's like an actual like actor in the second one fucking awesome dude i really i had fun i had a good time (laughs) dude hell yeah i remember um being like thoroughly almost like kind of creeped out or at least unsettled throughout the first one i remember there's a specific scene i think he's like standing in his underwear and he has this like wolf mask over his head and he's like standing against the wall i think it's like it might actually be the cover for the movie now that i think about it but um, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know there was a second one, and uh, I am going to be watching that. Soon. Yeah, it's better. It's it's so, you know. real fun. Um, yeah. it, it's I, uh, the cool. tension's so much better in handy cam movies. I'll say it. I think so I too. Think they do it really so well. Too. It uh, it offers like a, like a limited like point of view, so you can't re- really tell what's going on. Only as far as like you could tell like as if you were actually there or literally just looking through a video camera, yeah. which um, totally like narrows your peripheral. And uh, yeah, I think, I think it adds, if it's a great I effect. was filming, my head would be turning, but the camera wouldn't. And that's, what's infuriating about it. Cause it's like kind of yeah. almost frustrating. Cause you're like, shit, dude, like I don't want to be staring straight and turn randomly. Just like have me scan over the room, please. For the love of yeah, fucking God. Totally. Yeah. But yeah. what, some movies do it do have better execution with this than others. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a big point of um, like wh- why people I think don't like handy cam as much, especially in horror. It's really been 
outdone in horror, like just overdone, is that when it gets to a certain point, why the fuck would you still be worried about recording a movie? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And then the one character is always just like, why are you still recording? Put the fucking camera down. They're like, no, and we then, need uh, it. The character, <laughs> they're like, no, this is incredible stuff. And like, there's always that scene. Um, like in like the Blair Witch Project, which is like the origin and, of that, arguably. Yeah. I think there's another one that came out like a little bit before it that wasn't as well known. I forget what it's called, but um, Snow yeah, yeah. Piercer. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's Malaysian. <laughs> the handheld, <laughs> the handheld, can- the found footage Snow Piercer movie. Yeah, th- dude, that's that's our YouTube channel. We just found footage movies that have already been made. <laughs> and it's just us hanging out in my living room. It's like movies that <laughs> like watching movies that super don't need it, like The King's Speech, but Handy Cam. Oh my <laughs> it's god! Just so like truly awful. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> talk about a movie that isn't. You know what? I've never seen it. I probably shouldn't talk shit. I know people really like that. Yeah, movie. Yeah, but it doesn't. But, it um, doesn't require it. like a Handy Cam is no, or just like very weird period pieces like um fucking like <laughs> we redo Nosferatu. But they're like, dude, it's With a, actually it's fifteen. It's the year fifteen hundred. <laughs> the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> Honestly, if there was a movie that would probably that could benefit from a modern oh man, listen to me right now. There are purist Nosferatu fans are going to hate me. But if there was a movie that could benefit from a from a, you know, 21st century remake with with handheld cam, Van it could Helsing. be Nosferatu. Oh, yeah, no. Van Helsing. <laughs> like handy cam Van Helsing just like fucking yeah, that like fuck, yeah. what is it Boromir? Or, or Fa- Faramir <laughs> yeah. just with a handy cam the whole time, yeah, just being he's, he's there. Now we have to get it, <laughs> Mr. Helsing. <laughs> Holy water. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, yeah, that'd be terrible. What did you see this week, Avery? <laughs> let's get to let's get to the big boy. So, um, so I I actually did watch something though. I think the past couple weeks I've been just busy doing you know how it is, and I haven't been able to get into. Uh, a whole bunch of like movies that I wanted to yeah. see, but even stuck in uh, a I was queue scanning for through World of Warcraft. Yeah, for... yeah, that did that was a thing. Now, believe it or not, um, Avery, I was I can smell how bad Avery smells over microphone. It's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. It's, it's worse than smell a vision. <laughs> you can like see it in the waveform, just the stink lines. <laughs> Yeah, his waveform's <laughs> green for no fucking reason. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I was uh, I was just with the, the girlfriend on the couch, and we were scrolling through, um, like, like Roku stuff. We have a Roku TV. Nice. I mean, I'm not I'm not bragging, but we have a Roku TV. And fun fact: throughout watching Velocipaster, I thought something was wrong with it because of all the dirt that was on the lens. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Found out that that wasn't the case. Um, but we were scrolling through, and we were like, you know, what's a movie we haven't seen in like 15 years? Robin Hood Men in Tights. <laughs> so that's what we watched. Yikes! Um, How did that age? Yeah. Not very well, man. There's so, like there's some like case of the not gays stuff, some like like Dave Chappelle jokes in there that are just like it's only a joke because he's black. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh which is kinda I sometimes Dave Chappelle's shtick, I think. Maybe I'm maybe I'm the one at fault here. No, but it's kinda it's something I've noticed. You know. Um so I guess it fits in that regard. But I don't, um, I, don't I I don't like stand up the way I used to. I used to be really into stand up, yeah. but now I'm just like as soon as I've seen one thing of your stand up specials, I get your thing. Like no one's so fucking yeah. dynamic that I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to see you know, like Moshe Cash. It's a little more mechanical. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. so formulaic. Also, I've noticed that a lot of stand up comedians seem to be doing like the yearly Netflix special routine now, and I think I. I, d- I think they get into like a rhythm mm-hmm. and that's why they they seem to replicate the same thing over and over again. No, totally. Um, like I love yeah. certain people, but you know, and I'd like seeing them live, but man, I do not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would be into seeing like uh, some, someone live. I think like that would probably amplify it a little bit because laughter is infectious and like you'd just be, you'd be like, yeah, I had a good it's time. It's fun. You have drinks. I wouldn't overthink like, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think when you're watching at yeah. home, it's a much different dynamic. And also, 
you just have to accept the fact that improv is the superior uh comedy form and it's why <laughs> comedy podcasting is like huge uh i don't know some people would argue with that i mean i think it takes a lot of like it takes a, it's it's very difficult to make something funny on purpose yeah and i think that's like you know th- that's the that's extremely impressive to me because i can't oh do that, i can't do stand-up you know? either but i think yeah. that that's almost what makes improv better is that anyone can do it because yeah. like yeah you can kind of just go in be, cold and just have yeah, fun it shouldn't be yeah. exclusive the ability to yeah. make other people laugh i think that that's super important that being said my yeah. wife is so disgusting <laughs> so wait what <laughs> how disgusting is she <laughs> She's with me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, um, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, Robin Hood um, Men in Tights we, I, pretty. Robin Hood Men in Tights did, did, did not age no. well. Um, lots of uh, case of the not gays, if you know what I mean. They're in tights. Like, uh, it is yeah. such a cliche at this point. It's like, we get it, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's no one. It's almost no like guessing your sexuality. Other anyway. Yeah, it's like <laughs> no one it's like cares. It wasn't up, up for question. Um, yeah, nobody cares. Really, is what it is. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. A lot of that humor did not age very well. Surprise, surprise. Um, but but it's okay. There was some like dumb funny shit in it that is just like dumb and funny, and I can I can respect that sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, very so. few things are actually bad in the world. Yeah, They're, yeah. It's like a, it wasn't a bad movie. No. It was. There were jokes when we were like, ooh, <laughs> maybe not that one. <laughs> but that's almost <laughs> awesome, too, is just to be like, huh, I guess society has changed. Look at that. Yeah, just like some slight evolution here and there socially. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. It, it was like watching an episode of The Simpsons from the 90s. Yeah. Like, you go back and, like, there is a... There is an episode of The Simpsons from, like, 1996 where Homer is just aggressively homophobic. <laughs> and it's it's pretty surprising. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because, you know. as we all know, he's now he's now shipped with uh, Mole Man. Or, oh, is that yeah. right? <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. Mark watches. It's so. weird. It's very graphic for television. <laughs> Disney is not as family friendly as we thought. <laughs> well shit man who would have known um but ash i think before we get any too far off the rails uh i think you got some budget numbers for us i Do think I? I think i hear it i think i hear it sneaking us up behind us again huh it's just coming out everywhere we did watch a dinosaur movie <laughs> is it here yet so, did it come i don't know you gotta call it down you know what you do budget This is the budget breakdown. <laughs> breakdown, breakdown, budget, budget breakdown, budget, budget breakdown. You see, it's a it's a nineties movie now a, a. on Disney Channel. <laughs> the A is really to help it out. So, uh, do I know what this movie made? No, Avery, I fucking don't. But what I do know is that this originally was a film that was made as like a, a film school project. Uh, just the trailer. And uh, oh, okay. it got forty-seven thousand views on YouTube's. That's not. That's not that. Much. It's super not. <laughs> but I think it was a while ago when views weren't so inflated. It wasn't as much of a global market, and uh, they decided to make this movie for thirty-five thousand dollars. Where did they get the thirty-five thousand dollars from, Matt? Well, uh, the Hooker character is actually based on Brendan's. Steer, or, yeah, Brendan Steer's career, uh, which he took up in order to be able to produce this movie. Uh, wow. He was a gigolo. So, so he was turning tricks to, to pay for his Velocipaster movie. What, what the <laughs> just, shit, just, man? <laughs> just imagine. That's kind of a beautiful yeah, story. Yeah, just imagine him, like, he, but he's, he's an escort. 
You know, so it's it's classy, <laughs> Avery. It's classy. Right. So he, he's at classy. he's at penthouse parties with gentlemen, and he is in a beautiful ball gown. All right, and it's oh, gore. It's got oh. you know diamonds inlaid in it, or maybe he's not. Maybe he's in a power suit. We don't really know. Uh, there are no photographic it evidence of it, because uh, much like dinosaurs, this story is not real. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's something that's in this movie. Oh, that's my uh, favorite yeah. fucking line of the movie, man. Yeah, it was really oh good. God. It was, yeah. Yeah. So what's that line, Ash, just before we go? Oh, you know what? Let's save it. Let's save it. It's a juicy it's, one. There's so many one. There's so many zingers. So this. this movie was essentially released straight to DVD, but has a lot of limited runs going on. Uh, and they do it in theaters and they kind of are, it's kind of gained this cult status. I assume because last week we talked about it. Again, I'm pretty sure we predict all movie trends. Um, It's that uh, for the story bump, man. You know? And whenever (laughs) we have professional athletes, as we are one to do uh, on the show, they do play the game (laughs) of their career and then, you know, get brutally injured the very next game after that and, you know, have career ending injuries. And it's, it's amazing, but then very sad. Also known as the for the story break. (laughs) Because of the injuries, get it? <laughs> Never mind. Ruin people's careers. Uh, yeah, it's, next week we'll have a, LeBron yeah. James on to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Just in case. Um, have the Lakers beat shit. my team. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's not yeah. a lot of information on what this movie actually made, but it is doing something and has gained a cult status. It is a B movie for the sake of being a B movie without being Man, Jerry is... Seinfeld's the B movie. <laughs> I, I legitimately have struggled. I'm struggling to call this a B movie. This is like a D movie. This is bad. D for DVD as in it was straight to DVD D for deviants. <laughs> Whoever watches this movie for pleasure. <gasps> Us. Oh, us. We are some deviant little so, boys. <laughs> wow. So, Ash, I really I want to hear some expectations from you. Because, uh, oh no, you know what? Make me guess some other stuff. We, we have another part to this. What am I doing? Yeah, but I don't have any fucking other movie. Like, what do you want from me? Yeah. There, I don't have a list. I usually have it's a fucking, list. Yeah, there's nothing like this. No. Isn't there? Um, no, I have nothing. Go fucking I have figure. nothing. Uh, what are the t- <laughs> what are the twelve movies that IMDb pops up for me relative to this movie? <laughs> I think I have IMDb open. Hold on. <laughs> More like this is Matriarch. God damn, it's the exact same. Get out of there. In Fabric, <laughs> Hell Satan. Else, oh, I- look at the quick rise and in influence of the controversial religious group known as the Satanic Temple. I'm into That's that. It's a documentary. I will save that for later. Um, so yeah, man, I don't know. It's it's like <laughs> hey, one of the things that's in sitting more like this is a Oscar bait crawl. Oh yeah, Oscar bait. That's right. <laughs> and scary for stories sure. to tell in the dark and child's play. God, just like go back and list the last like ten movies that we reviewed. <laughs> man, I couldn't even fucking do that. I get more like this Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, probably the closest movie. I, not even, not even. A little. A, this movie was more like this movie was more like a where. This is more like Wolf Cop. Ooh. Have you ever seen Wolf Cop? Wolf Cops. Because it's, it's the same story. All right, <laughs> calm down. Please do not make better fun budget of though. My friend, Brendan Sarter, who. <laughs> Your friend was in Wolf Cop? No. Is, wait, is that what you're trying to tell no, me? <laughs> uh, Brendan Steer, director of Velocipaster, is not only my best friend, but he is my uncle. And uh, and he works for Disney, and he will put you in jail so quick for dissing the <laughs> Yeah, he's part of the, the, the DPD, Disney Police Department. I think they have their own police department, actually. Prob- no, they don't. Let's joke. I mean, no. I mean, like, would you be surprised? It's fucking huge. They have their own like town. They yeah. have their own fire department. Like, why wouldn't they have yeah, their own cops? They do. You know, it's it's cop hats. The DPD with with fucking They're Mickey like Mouse all here. like super militarized. <laughs> <laughs> they show up in Disney Police Department. They have fucking like, real infinity trucks and they shoot lasers <laughs> at you. <laughs> 
Uh, and they come after you when you illegally torrent yeah. some of their uh, their movies. Yeah. They're like, yeah. get Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, all right. Or else. Snap at you. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Ash, I guess since we don't have any questions or anything like that, any fun, uh, upbeat shit to guess. I mean, let, uh, let me, what were your expectations? Let me see if I can't pull something up because I feel I f- oh, yeah, right. I feel bad because um, this is something we come to is me giving weird uh, like hints and you guessing them kind of okay. <laughs> kind of okay, man. I guess like every single car movie. All right. <laughs> Last week <laughs> we got here the. I want you to guess some of the top 25 Christian movies. Top 25 Christian movies. In terms of Um, gross. Gross. Well, not just being gross, but... You know uh, what I mean. I want to say probably uh, God's Not Dead is one of them. Uh, Yeah, number nine, God's Not Dead. uh, God's Not Dead 2. Electric Boogaloo, number 22. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, that might be all I know. It's definitely Oh, uh, The Passion of the Christ. Yep, that's number one. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's number one. I, okay. Um, I literally know none of these movies. I am so Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. Throw like a Veggie Tales movie in there. <laughs> Jonah Veggie Tales movie. Are you serious? <laughs> Number uh, twenty one. Oh my god! I was just like, man, <laughs> that shows you how bottom of the barrel these Christian movies are. <laughs> Two through four Good are in Lord. the same series. Really? They're a Jesus allegory. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> uh, closer than I'd like. <laughs> oh my god. Is it Lord of the Rings? No, but that is also a Jesus allegory. <laughs> the Matrix? No. Uh man, I'm I'm out of uh, um, I don't know. Like like Lion, but the Lion's like too handsome for like a CGI. The Lion King? No. <laughs> uh uh cats. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say sexy. I said handsome. <laughs> Um, oh my god, I'm a, I don't know, I have no idea. You gotta tell me. Uh, there was, um, there was a Lonely Island song called Lazy Sunday, and they went to this movie. It's called The Chronic what? The Chronic Goal. Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, that's a, what? Cause Asla- that's a Christian movie? Aslan's fucking Jesus, dude. Man, what? What? This whole time that was like <laughs> that was like stealthy Christianity. Yeah. So Jesus said it's a hundred percent. Man, that's some shit. <laughs> I'm pissed. I like that. Fucking, <laughs> I'm mad. I love Mr. Tumness, dude. He was tight. <laughs> I didn't know that was a. I didn't know that was a Jesus movie. I like that you're kind of mad. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I think I I don't know. There's something about like stealthily hidden indoctrination that bugs the hell out of yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, I was just like, man, fuck that. It's like kids watch. That's like a kids movie. Yeah, I mean, so is Shut Jonah a Veggie Tales movie? <laughs> unless, yeah, that's true. But that is that's a lot more blatant than I think Chronicles of Narnia. Are. All right, check it out. I want you to imagine a CD strip club with TVs in it instead of playing like sports or like sexy music videos. It's Jonah. A Veggie Tales movie, and tell me that isn't <laughs> the most miraculous fucking thing you've ever seen in your life. That sounds like that sounds like a cursed place. That sounds like the most disgusting thing. It sounds like it's so Portland, like, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, like what the hell is going on at that place? Some seedy shit, man. That's dark. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fucking dark. I want you to play that at the bar on one of your TVs, like a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Veggie Tales movie. People be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I would probably get fired, dude. He's like, it's like, sorry, it's fuck is it's this? broken. <laughs> There's nothing. It's the only one that works. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty horrible. Um, 
All right, moving on. Because I'm done guessing. I'm done with this segment. I'm over it. (laughs) And I'm done finding out that movies that I remember from my childhood are about Jesus. Okay. Okay. I'm going to. Because, like, if you really, if you think about it, definitely Jurassic Park is a Jesus metaphor. There's just not. It's just not. Yeah. Because, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Dennis Nejri. He's he's oh yeah he's betrayed by his <laughs> friends and then he uh, dies kind of but then he's still like back he comes back uh, in that part that doesn't actually happen in the movie um, yeah <laughs> yes yeah. I forgot about that when he came back and then he was in the sequel was he I never saw the sequel no he definitely was not <laughs> all right um, let's talk about expectations though what were you expecting I want I want to recap scene by scene. Of, of everything that happened from the moment I said we're watching the Velocipaster to you actually watching the Velocipaster. So that was about a week. Um, it will, it, I hope you guys are ready for a, a week long podcast. No, um, but uh, basically, uh, yeah, so you showed this to me and I Googled it immediately on the show because I was like, there's no fucking way. That sounds like the worst thing ever. Um, I expected the worst thing ever. I didn't expect it to be as low quality as it was. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a little more like cohesive. It kind of like reminded me at least at first of um, uh, I think it's called. Oh, shit. What was it? Uh, Kung Fury. Have you ever seen Kung Fury? Oh, absolutely. I think it was supposed to be in the same kind of vein where it's just like goofy and over the top for the sake of being over the top. And um, it uh, it ended up not being anything like that. But uh, yeah, so this um, I mean, maybe at points, but uh, basically yeah, I expected some pretty bad shit. Uh, I expected the ninjas on the cover <laughs> to to just be in the movie so they could put ninjas on the cover, and I wasn't too far off. <laughs> no, so, no, they were in there for a very short amount of time. Yeah, so there, there was uh, ninjas in there, and you know this uh, this I expected the the. Uh, the dinosaur on the cover of the movie to look way better than it did in the movie, and I was 100% right there. Um, uh, yeah, it was pretty fucking horrible. So, um, yeah, that's about that's about what I got for you there, man. I expected some schlock, hor- schlock horribleness, and uh, I got some schlock horribleness. Oh, it was... I would say. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This movie is incredible. I just pulled up a quote list, and I'm just like, fucking dying dude so your parents Good. died Doug it's what parents do <laughs> yeah <it's, laughs> that's, that's great from from father Stewart it's what parents do god damn there was so many <laughs> yeah there was a lot of good shit there's so many <laughs> Fucking good. This was, this was a bad movie, man. This so was just bad. so stupid. And so many of the scenes so were stupid. so not necessary. Um, yeah. Yeah. So my like when like the, the war flashback. The flashback. <laughs> and the, the way that they when his wife dies, <laughs> <laughs> and she just steps on a trip wire and explodes. <laughs> In like the most poorly cut fucking thing where you see her and then you see that they clearly have changed. Like they just like pause the camera and then just threw fucking like fake paint on him yeah, oh, incredible yeah, oh my god yeah. it was just so unexpected I fucking loved it <laughs> and like the friends were just like oh yep another trip mine <laughs> yeah I don't think we're gonna be able to help her <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> or when the friend Ari when he was like he was just like you're gonna name your son after me you're gonna tell, look him in the eyes and you're gonna be like that's Ari. He lived through the whole war and didn't get shot. And then gets shot and dies like a second oh, later. And, and it's incredible because he's laying on the ground and he's still you can still see him puffing on the fake cigarette. Like he's still smoking it. I'm just like, this is unreal. Like, oh my God. And it's like yeah. someone's backyard and not Vietnam oh, yeah. at all. Yeah. Or when he, when he goes to China and he's definitely just, like, in Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> and he says China about 17 times in the span of yeah. two minutes. Wow. China. So this is China. Because <laughs> they cut from him in his car and then he's like, 
it's just big bold text china <laughs> did the, the did the car explode in your movie or did it say vfx burning car yeah yeah it did it said vfx okay burning i wasn't car. sure if that was just where i got the movie from or if that was a stylistic choice yeah i think that was a stylistic thing amazing uh, that's right at the beginning of the movie it's <laughs> it's very clear, you know. I don't know if they actually intended on finishing that, or if they just left it in because they thought it was fucking funny. <laughs> I agree. It's you know? fucking funny. It's like, well, we're out of money, and it's funny, so let's leave it in. <laughs> yeah. Um, this movie, by the way, was only seventy minutes, <laughs> so not even a full ninety minutes long. Not a full movie. It's not a real fucking. It's a hundred percent a real movie. It, um, it had a complex uh, damsel in distress character who was not only a prostitute, but also a PhD candidate. Um, yeah, she was pay- using she was prostituting so she could pay for college yeah. or to get her her like doctorate or something like that. It was like something <laughs> crazy because she was like, yeah, I do like uh, God, what was it? She's like, I, I'm like gonna like becoming a doctor and a lawyer and i'm like that's uh, <laughs> like just totally unnecessary yeah pick yeah. one they both make good mo- what are you doing combining both of them yeah it's it's, it doesn't make ridiculous. any sense and why if you if you have the ability to go to school to do those things if you've gotten into a school like that it means you already did college which means you already are qualified for a job that isn't prostitution. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> so, super fair. Yeah, and also you don't have to yeah. work for uh, th- her ter- like awful pimp. Uh, yeah, it was just disgusting. What? Because he's terrible. Because you didn't have hair on the top of his head. Is that what it was? So it made him disgusting. Yeah, man, that's that's what it was, dude. <laughs> I just, it's just those balds, man. Those I just balds. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> no, I don't really feel that way. He's probably a nice guy in real life. Terrible pimp, though. Yeah. 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 And well, actually, as he was quoted as saying, uh, I stole candy from this baby, then I threw the baby in the river. <laughs> I forgot about that. So yeah. I couldn't snitch, obviously. Then, uh, well, I pimp bitches, do drugs, sell drugs, murder people. Really, you name it, I've done it, Padre. <laughs> Yeah, and he goes to confessional booths as well, yeah. apparently. <laughs> like I haven't so. been in a while, and I'm like, yeah. why is everyone, why Why are there five people in New York City? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it supposed to take place in New York City? Yeah. Does it ever say that? It really does, does it? I mean, like. I it, totally miss that. It, you look at it, and it's fucking New York City. Right, right. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, shit, man. Dude, this, yeah, this movie was uh, something fucking else, dude. Um, um, I think like I think it's pretty fair that we to say that we've already we've already kind of gotten into pros. Unless I didn't really get your expectations. My expectations I think, that were I have yeah. it was a pun name, and I'm like Avery's gonna hate it, but I'm gonna love it. Uh, yeah. So this is all great, and mostly uh, it's exactly how I would write a movie. Um, <laughs> right, I would, just like totally total nonsense. Yeah, I would like, probably about as well as we could execute a oh, movie. Oh yeah, too. and so that gives me a lot of confidence and hope. Um, and I think that, you know, I'd like to think that if we wrote a movie together, we'd start with one of us mistyping something as we texted it to each other. And <laughs> we wouldn't let each other hear the end of it until, you know. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, like, yeah, I agree completely. Uh, <laughs> this movie was uh, something else, man. But let's get into some pros here. Yeah, yeah, I know we've yeah, already I'll... started talking about it. Well, okay. Um, Re- real but... quick pitch. <laughs> Velocirasta. That's the sequel. Absolutely. (laughs) It's about a Rasta guy who discovers his ability to turn into a Velociraptor. That sounds equally as horrible. (laughs) Equally as horrible. Um, So how about uh, how about when (laughs) when he (laughs) the first time he turns into a, uh, a werewolf, I mean a Velociraptor and uh, he ends up crashing at uh, the lady's place. What's her name? Carol. And uh, they, and he's like, he's totally naked. So he's just like, well, 
do you have anything to wear? And she's like, yeah. And then the next scene is them in the park, he's, and he's wearing this like tiny, tight like dress shirt thing. It's like what what uh, live action uh, Wilma in the Scooby Doo movie wears. Yeah, it's like this bright orange like sweater that he's wearing just below his like unit. <laughs> it's so fucking funny because they do the cut so quickly. Yeah, after yeah, yeah it's fucking excellent. Because you, you know that scene where like the like the the main character borrows clothes from one but from someone, but it's like it's never a, a woman. It's always like it, where she's always just like, yeah, my ex boyfriend's jeans are still here or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just having it be like it's just hers, so she lends him one of her shirts is just so stupid, man. <laughs> so dumb. But it's <laughs> so good. it's accurate and. Uh, I think that's about when we get the best line in the movie, too. Yeah, it is. Uh, do you want to do the honors yeah. here? I'll, uh, let me get into character. I need to become Doug real quick. Okay. I don't believe <laughs> you. Dinosaurs never existed, and even if they did, I don't transform into one. <laughs> <laughs> Another really good line. It's from after the second transformation. Uh, Carol's like, well, I don't know much about God. And he, in Doug Jones, the name of the philosopher pastor, he says, I don't know much about dinosaurs. <laughs> like, as if she does. Like, like as if she's a dinosaur. <laughs> that was my favorite line in the movie. I don't know much about, I don't know much about God. I don't know much about dinosaurs. God, this movie's terrible. Oh my God. It's so bad. And they have like the exorcism with like the Zohan. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a like a character that would be taken seriously in like a young adult f- m- b- like novel adaptation, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, and it was really weird because I think his name was Altair, and like, um, yeah, he, that's exactly when they decided to do the Vietnam flashback, and it looked like it was the same actor that played Ali, uh, the yeah, guy who got I shot. Think it was, and yeah. I'm like. Wait, so is this a flashback to how they met? And then, like, he dies, and I'm like, okay, now I don't know what the purpose of this is, and it's yeah, great. Yeah, totally unrelated. Totally unrelated, horribly fit in there, just so bad. <laughs> and the wig just they like, had on the guy. Oh, that poor old man yeah. being in this movie, dude. Everyone in their yeah. 20s, I'm like, yeah, you're cutting your teeth. This is about right for you. But that old but man, <laughs> like, poor, poor <laughs> like, dude. Just in there. That was the director's, like, Uncle, yeah, he's like, he's like, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Someday you'll see, I'll be a famous actor. <laughs> I don't know why he would talk like that, yeah. but <laughs> and he he would do all these really bad stares at the camera too. It was unreal. Oh yeah, unreal. Oh yeah, and they like, and it would always go out of focus. The camera yeah, would. You you claim that it's stylistic. I think it's just incompetence. No, like he like <laughs> was, did he like fucked up the film on purpose. I don't see. I didn't see that. You know what I did see though. I did see the literal specks of dirt that were on the lens. It looks like he had two different lenses, or they did they filmed over a couple days because there's multiple spots that I could like see throughout the movie. But that's like a, like that was the point. It was supposed to be a grindhouse style movie. No, but it was just like it was like he got pizza sauce on the lens. It wasn't like he got like it was grindhousey. It was a static dot that was on the lens. I I honestly like it was there for so long that I was like, holy shit, is something fucking wrong with my television? And I got up and like I was like still not sure. And then the, the scene cut and changed to a different scene, and the dot was gone from that spot. But it was in a different spot on the screen. Yeah, well, so I it was mean, like, like he, there's just a, this is a dirty lens. He, yeah, no, I mean he did. So he did. Big Making of the film, and then he also did like just dragging it on the ground to give it a scratchy, like grindhouse look on the cheap. Baked it at two hundred so for like, ten minutes. <laughs> sounds delicious, but also paprika, um, cumin, cayenne. <laughs> hey, we're eating good tonight. <laughs> you guys ever eat uh, thirty-five millimeters of uh, <laughs> filmed Getty film? <laughs> Film Getty. Oh Film Getty God. and meatballs. Mm. That basically that's amore. <laughs> that's amore. <laughs> you ever yeah, ladied yeah, right. in the tramp with your girl in some thirty-five millimeter film? You haven't. 
Then you don't know no, love. Not. You don't know love like we do. Are you claiming to be God my damn. girl? Did you it? don't even <laughs> know what it's like. I don't even know who I'm doing an impression of. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. You keep but going into it again. I'm not. I'm not no, I don't even. I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just a, it's a guy who's just confused. <laughs> He's just confused. Yeah. Right, he said. <laughs> that, that's my new character. A guy who's just confused. <laughs> oh god. Excellent. What kind of cons do we have, Ash? Other than the clear schmutz that this guy got on the camera lens. Um. Honestly, like, I I have no cons. This movie's amazing. I feel like this is an so we've we've come to this point before, uh, we we sort of got there with the wraith, but I think it has just been so far exemplified with this movie. But uh, this is a movie where all of the cons, like all of the technical things that they got wrong, all kind of made the movie better. Like, can we? Because the movie on its own, if you take it as a serious movie, is fucking terrible. Yeah, take this to can, <laughs> like take this to the con, yeah. you know. Let's take it to the Venice I don't know Film. What you mean, but oh, like yeah, oh yeah, Venice Film <laughs> Festival and play it as a double feature with the Joker, and just see how people <laughs> react. Dude, I the, don't think this movie deserves that. Oh, it hundred <laughs> percent really does. Bad. I mean, did you see that fucking dinosaur hunchback costume? The like the like the way oh. that <laughs> it was so it was the it ugliest was fucking thing I've ever seen. I'm like, <laughs> it looked so bad. Literally, how how did you find like? Because I've seen bad Velociraptor costumes that people wear. They all yeah. look better than that. And like, yeah. And so, how did they get one I, that cheap? It looked horrible. And like, I'm thinking of, you know, those inflatable ones where you put your legs through the leg holes yeah. and it's like, it's like maybe like eight feet tall and they look awesome. You know, like they look really good. Um, it, like the person can't see, so you got to like walk them around. But uh, like, that's what I was expecting. Right. Yeah. I was like, it's going to look at least decent like that because this movie came out last year. There's there's no way they haven't seen that. Or I was expecting like that inflatable one where it's just like the standing up straight T-Rex. Yeah. You know what I mean? That are that look hilarious. And that would have just been like Amazing. too much fun. Yeah, too much. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. Um, but th- this was just, it was like just really bad. Horribly disfigured Velociraptor. Yeah. And it wasn't it had T-Rex. A hunchback, like you said. Yeah. It, it looked terrible. It looked really, really terrible. Um, it had a hunchback, like you said, which it, I, I don't even know why the costume would be designed like that. Like, what part of your body would go there? I think I, so. I think I think the head was the hunchback part, and then oh, like maybe. the rest was yeah. like I don't know, dude. Uh, but that whole scene is insane with the flashbacks. Where like oh, yeah. the brother is like in all these flashbacks we've already had, and he's like, "You're the dad's like you're my only <laughs> son." Oh, dude, and that fucking that kitchen scene where they they're just laughing for maybe a minute <laughs> straight, just the whole family just going. <laughs> 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 yeah. Avery, keep going. <laughs> 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 Exactly. We did it. Um, shit's fucking just absurd. Oh, it was just beyond absurd. Amazing. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. It it does make me like wonder. Like I guess they kind of just like they were like fuck it. This is terrible. We're just gonna make it bad, right? Yeah. Oh. Like that has to be it. Like there was no way that at any point in the creative process this was taken seriously. Like, this is for this is sure a bad. meme that was turned into a movie. Okay. Good. Like. Yeah. I, I'm glad because that's the impression I got too. Yeah. The original trailer is. Yeah, it's just fucking people were like, wow, this is amazing that this exists. And then <laughs> they made it because it got like, they're like, oh, look, 45,000 views. Like, that seems like that doesn't seem like a lot of money. No, it, <laughs> or, no, that's not a lot. But I think it's got like or a lot of views fully people love it now. Well, let's look at how much it has now. Shit. Ah, yeah, let's look. Look indeed. Hundred and seventy eight K views. It's still not a lot. Almost two hundred K on another <laughs> one. Is that like the original? See if you can find it. Oh, the, the original, original one's forty five K. Wow. No shit, man. But then now the actual movie, it's getting like two hundred thousand. So that's better. Gotcha. Oh yeah, there you go. 
When did the uh, the original trailer deal come out? 2011. To, oh, wow. So it took them that long to make this movie. Because <laughs> this came out. So it took them seven years to decide that they were going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, shit. Hey, man. What You know? <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> I'm just- Jesus Christ, though, dude. <laughs> Isn't this a mess, dude? I'm like, aren't you glad it's only an hour ten, though? Like, you're complaining oh, yeah. that, oh, it's not, oh, not yeah. long enough to be a real movie. But, like, really, did you want it to be another 20 minutes? Really? I can't even imagine how... It would probably have been really slow and horrible if it was another 20 minutes long. Yeah, it was um, bing, bang, boom. It was amazing. Yeah, it was It was quick enough that it, it felt, like, potable. If it had been... If it had been any longer, I think it probably would have been unbearable. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, there was no way that it was going to be like, yeah, no, it couldn't have possibly. That's like The Wraith. Yeah. The Wraith was an hour and a half and it felt so long. Yeah, that movie felt way longer than it really was. Yeah, this movie, this movie felt pretty long in the middle. There was a point where I was like starting to get sleepy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. But then you like, you know, you can look at how much time's left and you go. Okay, you know what? It's like every ten minutes, it's like a big chunk of the uh, progress bar is gone. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, exactly. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. So you know this this movie was um, it was something, but it <laughs> it was fucking something, man. Do you, I, 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 you know, I'm really struggling to think of other cons. Yeah, because for exactly the reason that we discussed, yeah. it's all like all the cons make this movie better because this is a just regular Stanley Kubrick movie. This is a no, amazing no. film. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not a real movie. It is. It is ridiculous. It gets some like points out of just sheer, like, why does this redi- like exist? Ridiculousness, you know? Yeah. I think every scene has something where it's like, why, why? No, no, no. Why? Yeah. Like the, the, the killing of the big bad guy where he sticks his dinos. He's like, Get shot with. Oh. Sorry, right. totally jumped out of the, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, the chat for a second there. No worries. Um, but he just, like, yeah. you know, fully shoots him in the leg with, like, an anti dinosaur arrow. <laughs> and he goes, Oh my God. Oh no. He goes, My oh. hands still work. And he, like, pulls a doll head off of a fake person <laughs> and, like, fully shows the front of it to the camera. And, and it, it's just the doll head. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. I loved this movie so much. I, I had so much fun with this. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that you picked something that we were able to thoroughly laugh at. Uh, that wasn't just exhausting like the Wraith was. Yeah, <laughs> like the Wraith had like brief moments, like very fleeting moments of like, like, like stuff where we were like, "Hey, that was fun," and then just. Like all like an hour and a half of just fucking nothing, you yeah. know, just like worthless movie. Um, but this movie, it it definitely surprised me around a lot of turns. Um, I, I, I there was a music video, just straight up a music video in the middle of this movie. There were part two, there was two montages. One was the uh, <laughs> the him working out to become a velocipaster, like for no reason. And then there was the uh, the the sex scene, which was just a full uh, song, like a full three minute song. But that was shot with, actually really cool. <laughs> it, was, it was shot pretty well. That was like that's something that I wanted to say is that like that actually looked better than most of the rest of the movie. Um, it was one, another one of those shots where I was just like, "Wow, okay, yeah, this guy's not totally incompetent. No, he could sh- shoot something good if he like, wants that was, to." I was like, "This is sweet. What's going on?" <laughs> Like, yeah, this like looks great. it did look good. Uh, yeah, at least most of it looked pretty good. There were a couple parts where I'm just like, eh, it kind of looks like a stock like fade effect or something yeah, like sure, that. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, but but still, it, it did look better than like the entire rest of the movie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, man. So there was some cool stuff there. Um, there was some horrible shit. There was this the, at the beginning of the scene, right after um, the uh, uh, Doug Jones, the Velocipastor's parents die. When he's talking to the pastor and it has their like heads pop up on the screen and they're saying the lines like to each other, but it's like they're saying it, it looked really bad. Uh, do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, that that was just like, oh god, here we go. It's gonna be one of these, huh? So, yeah, pretty bad. But other than that, I mean, like, <laughs> it was a fucking movie, man. This was a weird, weird movie. At least you admit it's a movie. Um, 
Ah, damn it, he got me. So why don't you give me. us, since this is a movie and we review movies here on For the Story, give me five words. Would you recommend it? And uh, your rating out of ten. <laughs> uh, so hold on. Uh, shit, five words, man. I'm like struggling. There's so much to say about this. <laughs> uh, Velocipaster is not Jurassic Park. There you go. Yeah, I mean, true. like, yeah, you don't want to make fun of Velocipaster by comparing it to Jurassic Park. I think that that's yeah. not fair to no, I don't, I don't Velocipaster fair. because <laughs> it is. I, I think we'll no, both man. agree <laughs> <laughs> a better no, movie. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know, man. This movie was just complete absurdity. Uh, I think it's worth... It was so short that it's totally worthwhile to go see. Oh. You know, it, just like, just absolute... Or not go see necessarily. I don't think... I mean, like, if you could find a limited... Uh, it probably has been played in theaters from time to time. But, uh, you know, it's just so short that I can't... I, you might as well just pull it up on Amazon Prime just for that watch because it is pretty ridiculous. You're going to laugh... You're going to have a fun time, um, but uh, two out of ten. <laughs> Go see it. Two out of ten. Like, on a technical level, this movie is bad. Like, just bad. Bad characters. Like, somewhat decent acting. Yeah, it's actually, points. I've seen worse. Like, that was yeah, not I've seen that worse. Bad. I think the acting in The Wraith might have been worse than the acting was in this. And that, The Wraith probably, it cost how much? Like $80 million or something like that? It was $2.7 million that he found on Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Made um, $3.5 so, million with him. So, so like, uh, there you go. This guy made, I think I liked this movie just a little bit more because it was something that he made for $35,000, and it doesn't look like it cost $35,000 to make. No. <laughs> $35,000 seems like a high budget for this movie. Like, there, there must have been, like, caterers or something involved there. Yeah, it's probably um, paying the actors decently. That'd be yeah, my guess. Yeah, so, oh, probably something along those lines. Also, maybe, like, whatever marketing and distribution he needed to do. But, um, you know, I, I recommend it. Why not? It's an hour and ten minutes long. It can't hurt. If you, got, like, if you just want to goof off or if you're drunk... With your friends, this is a good one to put on. Oh, for sure. I can totally yeah. see this playing at your fucking bar, dude. Yeah, it totally. Yeah, this is like exactly the kind of movie that we play there. Yeah. So I'd, uh, I'd fucking yeah. I'd watch the whole thing and be like, I, yeah, I showed him this one. Yeah. Not a big People deal. People would be like, what the hell is this? And be like, <laughs> dude, it's the Velocipaster. <laughs> <laughs> You've never heard of this? Um, it's so what? Classic. Um, yeah, this movie, this movie straight up bad. Loved it. Uh, all right, Ash, your turn. All right, my five words. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this bread. It's the Christaceous period. Oh, God damn. Yeah, Ugh. we're here. Makes me want to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is incredible. Um, I've literally, I've never seen anything quite like this because even the bad movies that I've seen for this show at your bar and <laughs> elsewhere um they're all pretty like they they lack the self-awareness that i really want and this right. is very self-aware and i found it really enjoyable you know brendan steer is clearly capable the actors are clearly fine uh yeah surprisingly so right? yeah surprisingly fine and they're just you know the movie's willing to be like insert vfx burning car here uh, just <laughs> fully in the first five minutes, and I respect that. Uh, go and see this movie. It's not a waste of time at all. It's really fun. Uh, watch it with a friend, uh, a coworker, uh, that girl you have a crush on, so that she's permanently repulsed by you. Um, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, you're gonna ruin it for yourself, and uh, it'll be worth it though. Oh yeah, totally. This is a ten out of She'll ten never perfect movie, you. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely the goat. <laughs> so fucking not man <laughs> Dude, this is the greatest of all time like i know i've been throwing that out pretty loosely lately uh i've said it about um i mean every movie every week uh, <laughs> every movie every week always the goat <laughs> go and see them all this is a especially guy. jurassic park <laughs> no <laughs> 
I'm just no. I'm just mean about <laughs> Jurassic Park because I know it gets you, and it's still like it still works. It's yeah, it's a uh, bummer that it still works on you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. And I just you know, I think that you know, if you could combine, listen, Jurassic Park it has good bones. You know what I mean? Like it's got the structure that I really like, but I feel as though if they could tra- change um, the dinosaur designer with Velocipaster. <laughs> vastly <laughs> superior movie. I want to see. I want to see this director make the first 100 percent faithful remake of Jurassic Park with this budget. <laughs> with this budget for thirty five thousand dollars. No, no, I don't know. Velocipaster probably, like, I honestly, probably made some money. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. It probably didn't. Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, I don't they know. played it in uh, at Genre Blast 2018 uh, in Austin, no Texas. Fucking shit. Yeah. No shit. Last year. Um, well, hard to say, but I would say give them fifty thousand dollars and free catering from like a sponsorship from a local business, <laughs> and and uh, there you go, there you go, Jurassic Park reboot, dude. And just imagine that hunchbacked fucking dinosaur chasing the jeep around. Yeah, but it's not a great. jeep. It's now like a a Geo Metro <laughs> teal. <laughs> A teal, like, <laughs> God, that's so perfect. Like a used Geo Metro, zero, zero dollars yeah. down, two point nine percent APR. Yeah, you get like, yeah, you you get zero like a shot, a and like you get a shot, and you see the dash, and you see it has like two hundred and forty thousand miles on it. <laughs> it's like absolutely <laughs> awesome, but it's still going. <laughs> like bad ADR of like fucking yeah. a car starting up because it literally will not start up. <laughs> and they have to push it around. They roll it down a hill. <laughs> they have those scene. guys from fucking Hellraiser in black suits pushing it like the giant worm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Clearly dude. in All the right. shot. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to For the Story. <laughs> Leave us five stars uh, on iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm sure there's probably some kind of rate, right? Yeah. Like, what's the thing? Yeah, I don't know yeah. where you guys listen to us at. Actually, I do know where you guys listen to us at. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. Uh, Tune in next week. We're going to be uh, doing It Chapters 1 and 2 in a double yeah. feature week. And Yeah, uh, it's going to be a cramped week, but we're going to make it happen. Um I'm really, really looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be real good. Uh, we got it one coming up first. We're going to try to aim for Tuesday next week to get that out. Yeah, we'll if I'm not s- we'll mistaken. S- so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to try to get that out, and then I'm thinking for Friday is when we're going to get it two out. But uh, <laughs> still looking forward to it. Oh my god! Sorry, I sneezed really loud. Sorry about that. I thought you turned into a philosopher for a second. <laughs> oh god, we need to stop this. Episode. Yeah, we were done. Yeah, this is this is it. This is it for the night. Thank you guys. We love you so much. Goodbye. So your parents died, Doug. It's what parents do. They die on you. <laughs> <laughs>